Hello and welcome to your course. We know that your upcoming test is pretty important, and we want to make sure that you get the most out of this course. So let me give you a quick overview of some of our favorite course features. Now, you know what they say, time doesn't grow on trees, or time flies like something. The, the point is, you've got a limited amount of time to study. So how do you know where to start? Well, we found a good place to start is figuring out what you already know so that you can spend your time on what you don't know. This is why the first thing you'll see in your course is the pretest section. So go ahead and crack open a pretest when you're ready to uncover your weakest areas and discover the best place for you to get started. You'll be coming across some tricky topics in this course. And sometimes you need to see something visually explained to be able to grasp it. Well, don't worry, we don't just film course intros in here. You'll find videos scattered throughout your course that can be a big help for tough topics, or, you know, if you're just tired of reading. To make sure you get the most out of these videos, we also put them together into a handy directory that you can skim through as needed. From here, you can even use the search bar to find specific videos. Who knows, you may even see me in there. Watch out. When you get to the end of a section in your course, you may find what I like to call a mini quiz. These are a good opportunity for you to find out if you were paying attention to the content or not. Though if you're wondering if you were paying attention, I think we both know the answer. Each question in these quizzes ends with a little refresher on why the right answer is right to help drive that info home. It's one small quiz for you, one giant leap for your attention rates. After you make it through a section of your course and you feel good about your progress, you can mark it complete using the button at the top or bottom of the page. Cue dopamine hit in three, two, one. Ah. Marking it yourself lets you update your course progress at your own pace. There's no pressure to move on until you're ready. It may be helpful to keep in mind that there's no specific order to complete your course in. You can go through it in whatever order works for you. So with that in mind, you'll notice some bonus content that contributes to your course progress. So if you need an easy win, just mark one of those complete and watch that progress bar go. A great way to study is by using flashcards. An even better way to study is by using flashcards that you don't have to lug around with you. And wouldn't you know, your course just happens to have lug-free flashcards included. Flashcards are great for breaking up the content into smaller pieces and really narrowing down what you don't know. Plus, you can flag any cards that you struggled with so you don't have to dig through the whole stack to find them again. For you, or should I say us, perfectionists out there, don't forget that you can mark the flashcard section complete to get that sweet 100%. Listen, I know the real reason you bought this course. To watch my videos! What, that? that's not... <sighs> Alright, fine. I know it was really for the practice tests, but as long as I was reason number two, then we're good. Regardless, though, once you finish a test, you'll get your results. From there, you can see a breakdown of how many questions you got right, how long you spent on each question, as well as a breakdown of how you did across each category. And you'll see the results at the end of your test, but don't forget, you can access even more info about how you did by clicking My Test Results in the top right corner. Whichever way you choose, both are great ways to see which categories you need to spend more time working on going forward. In addition to practice tests that mimic a real test-taking experience, you'll also find learn-as-you-go practice tests that allow you to, you guessed it, learn as you go. This means that you don't have to wait until the very end to get an idea of how you're doing. You'll immediately be able to check your answer as you go. The learn part comes from understanding the why behind each answer. Whether you are right or wrong, each question has an answer explanation to go along with it. Now, don't tell anyone that I told you this, but you can probably use the info you get from the answer explanation to answer future questions. And that's all you need to know to get started with your course. Go ahead and try some features out, take a practice test, and come on back and see me if you need a refresher. Or, you know, if you just want to. Best of luck, thanks for watching, and happy studying.